Got one there? Yep. All right. Well, that didn't take long. Slow down too if you want. Here's a walleye. It's a nice one, huh? Yeah, it's a good fish. It is a walleye too. There, beauty. Beauty, Jason. Beauty. I'm sliding right in front of you there. There, beautiful fish, Jason. That's a good start. That is a great start. Impressive looking fish. On today's show, we're on Lake Sakakawi, and historically, this has been one of the best walleye fisheries in the entire nation. Through the 80s, this is one of the places to be. Mid 90s, again, this fishery boomed. We had a drought about, oh, what, five, six years ago. The fishery declined, and now the high water's back, and so are the fish. And this is a spot that's going to be on the radar for a lot of walleye enthusiasts in the next 10 years. And joining us today on today's show is a gentleman by the name of Jason Vadova, who I would regard as one of the best fishermen on this end of the lake. He's been fishing this lake for years and shared a lot of good tips on how to fish this massive reservoir. Jason Mitchell Elite Series Rods brings you the Daily Log Entry. How's he feel? Feels like a good fish. Yeah, oh yeah. There we go. Excellent. That's I'll nice just get fish. right on the other side of you here. Okay. Yeah, that's a beauty, Jason. Good fish. There, nice work, nice work. That is a beauty there too. There, ah. That's why people come to Lake Sakakawea, isn't it? There's a good fish. There you go, go ahead and take them. Wow, look at that rod bend. <laughs> I'll slow us down a touch here. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. It's good, that's what we like to hear, huh? Oh wow, look at the jaws on that, huh? Looks like you're pulling in an ice cream bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, they got shoulders. That got a fish too. That's nice. Yeah, we got a double here. Okay, I'm just gonna Am put Am I in this. the line on that one? Uh, yeah, this is a good one here too. There's that double you're looking for. Double header on the ones we want too. There we go. That's a good wow. fish. Wow, look at that fish. I'll let you grab that one. Go ahead and reel this one in. I'll get this fish out of the net. Like a fire drill. They're fun though when you're fishing. Oh, right? isn't that something? Oh, this fish just came undone. <laughs> isn't that a beauty? Isn't that a beauty? I'll show you the lure we're Still using there. Still there, drag slip. Grab the pliers here. What we're doing is we're pulling these crankbaits about two miles an hour. Every once in a while we'll bump the trees, bump the brush that's along here, but isn't that a beauty? I'll get that fish back in the water. Yeah, here's this another good one here. There's another good one, but yeah. this is the lure right here. That was the daily double we wanted. Yeah. Samuel Bullhead. Oh, look at that beauty. The thing about these bullheads, they got a nice wide wobble, but there, look at these pigs. I would say Lake Sakakawea has returned to her glory, huh? There we go. Look at that. Let's see if I can get this. There. Another dandy there, huh? Isn't that a beauty? Dandy fish. <laughs> that, is a, that is a dandy. What a guy wants. We'll get this fish back in the water too, but 
These lures have a really neat action. They've got a very wide profile on the head, wide bill, but when they when they dive in the water, they, they kind of track and they've got a really wide erratic wobble and come midsummer, these can really be the ticket. That's called a Samuel bullhead. And Samuel makes a lot of great baits, but the key to the consistency of these baits is they're all hand tuned. And so there's a lot of great crankbaits out there. In the real world, when we're just fishing, we use all kinds of baits. We use whatever it takes to work. But what I love about the Samuel lures is that with being hand tuned, I can take one on the box, clip it on, and I know I'm confident with it that I can catch fish. There, a nice fish, nice fish, Jason. Yeah, that's a beauty there. Here's the flyers here. There, that's a beautiful fish. Let's discuss what we're doing. We're running and gunning, we're trolling cranks, we're finding these fish here from 8 to 12 feet of water, but covering the ground is the name of the game, and crankbaits really let you break down this massive body of water. They do. You get to cover a lot of water fast, you know, and some days they eat them, some days they don't, but you get to cover water. That's Absolutely. That's the name of the game, so. See you later, big girl. There's a better fish. A real good fish, Whoa. I think. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, it looks good. Oh. You can hardly get it out of the rod holder, you know it's a good one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I here. think I'll just reel this one out. Okay. Get a pointer out so we don't get that bar. Yeah. Boy, this fish is really staying down, Jason. Good. Oh, yeah. Another nice walleye. Wow, huh? Isn't that beautiful? There! Wow! These are beautiful fish. <laughs> yes, they are. Get them out of the net and show them off. Yeah, isn't that a beauty? Oh, I tell you what, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. Jason, I remember fishing this lake 20 years ago, and this guy was the guy to beat. I mean, this is one of the best fishermen that I've ever known on this lake. Fishes out here religiously a lot, and it has a wealth of knowledge, and just, you know, fishes east end of the reservoir specifically a lot. And I tell you what, this east end of the lake is unique. There's a lot of great structure, phenomenal walleye fishery that's really coming back. And if you try some of these tips, cover water. If you have to, use crankbaits, but just break down big parts of the lake, make big moves until you put together the patterns. This is the reward right here. Thanks for watching today's show.